In this overview video, we'll give you a quick overview of how the Kavisa grid works. Kavisa has redefined VDI to eliminate the multiple moving parts, the costs, and the complexity of conventional VDI architectures. So with Kavisa, you do not need separate management servers or connection brokers or a expensive shared storage pool or specialized high-speed interconnects. You create a grid from inexpensive off-the-shelf servers and Kavisa dynamically provisions and manages virtual desktops across this grid. So to set up Kavisa, you can assemble a grid from off-the-shelf commodity servers that just have local direct attached storage. For instance, Dell PowerEdge machines or IBM X-Series or HP ProLiant servers. These machines can be of different sizes. They could be from different manufacturers. All you need is to run a, a hypervisor on each of the machines on the bare metal machine. So we don't need any Windows server operating systems. And on each of those machines, you set up the Kavisa virtual appliance. So Kavisa automatically provisions virtual desktops and load balances workloads according to the capacity of the servers in this grid. You can add and remove servers on the fly to the grid, and Kavisa dynamically provisions and deprovisions these servers, distributes the images they need to serve, to serve up virtual desktops. Kavisa manages all of that automatically. The interesting thing is that you manage the Kavisa grid as one entity. You can point your browser at any one server in the grid and log in as an administrator and you get a grid-wide view. And you manage the grid as one entity. So you provision desktops, you connect users, manage images on the grid. And this Kavisa automatically propagates our requests as needed across the servers in the grid. And it's in, the interesting thing here is that there is no master or slave in this architecture. So there is no single connection broker. There is no single send, vCenter type of management server. Every server in the grid is a connection broker, a management server, and a provisioning engine. So every server in the Kavisa grid is equally replaceable. And yet the grid works as one cohesive entity. The reason for this architecture is because Kavisa makes virtual desktops very repeatable, easy, scalable, affordable, and predictable. Repeatable because once you've sized a server for a certain capacity, that server will handle that workload regardless of whether it's in a one-server grid or a multi-server grid. Easy because desktop IT can now set up and manage virtual desktops without requiring SAN expertise or you know expertise on virtualization pools. Uh, affordable, because every virtual desktop you deploy has a capital expense that's less than the cost of buying a PC. And predictable, because there are no centralized bottlenecks in this architecture that create constraints such as bootstorms that conventional VDI architectures face. And the solution does not limit and constrain you. You get key features you need, such as built-in high availability, the ability to scale on demand, a rich high-definition user experience, linked clones to optimize on memory, etc. We hope this gives you a good overview of how Kavisa grid architecture works, and you can try this out for yourself by downloading a free trial from www.kavisa.com. Thank you.